In this vid, I'm going to be doing a couple blister openings. Um, as you can tell in the background, I've got some of the new Burger King McDonald's toys. Um, if you'll watch my last video, I have a couple of duplicates up for trade. A Zorark with a Muna card and a Zorua toy with a Muna card. Um, still sealed. Um, but yeah, check those out if you're interested. And two of these Zorarks are also for trade or sale. But in this, uh, this video, I will be opening up another, whoops, uh, Buizel blister pack. Um, get three packs plus a bonus card. If you saw my earlier video, I opened up one of these, um, and the only reason I got it was because the Buizel I had had a little, uh, dent at the top. So I got another one thinking it would be mint. And silly me didn't actually lo really look over the card to make sure it was mint. After I was looking, I was going to swap it out with the card in my collection, I took a closer look at it, and it was dented at the bottom. Um, and it also had like a couple white scratches on the back. So the other one I had was actually in slightly better condition. So um, I had to run to Target anyway, so I went ahead and picked up another one of these. Um, because uh, the one I got yesterday, I was actually able to... Um, I believe I there were three packs in there, only one from a set that you can currently play with, so I opened that one. Um, the other two uh, sets, or the other two booster packs, since they were older, I actually sold. So I was thinking I might do the same thing with this one. Um, if there's a newer pack in here, I'll open that. And if there are just older packs, I'll just go ahead and resell them, and hopefully I'll be able to find some buyers for them. Um, and I did, this was the last weasel they had. So, and I took a closer, a very close look at it. No dents, dings, anything like that that I can see. Um, we've got like a tiny little scratch down here at the bottom, but this would still be considered probably a 9 PSA scale. So I'm much happier with this than my other one. Oh, cool. We do get some new, uh, uh, one new pack. So we get Undaunted, Rising Rivals, and Arceus. So I'm going to go ahead and sell the Rising Rivals and Arceus packs, and I'll go ahead and open the Undaunted pack. And we've got Grimer, Houndor, Aaron, Sneasel, Scyther, Muck, Raticate, and Vaporeon. My reverse is a mischievous, a, a mischievous, bleh, if I can talk. And I pulled an Espeon Hollow from this yesterday, so let's see if I can get another Hollow. Ooh, nice! I did get another Hollow, a Mag Cargo. Very cool. Um, so yeah, these two packs will be up for sale or trade. Um, most likely, I'm just gonna sell them. Um, I've actually got quite a few different buyers interested in the other packs I put up for sale, so I wasn't able to obviously sell the same packs to everyone. So uh, I'll be able to hopefully just kind of go back and um, yeah, sell them to those. Um, so yeah, video's not over yet. I've got another blister pack opening. Um, right now I'm running a, do a, a deck with um, Samurai in it and I'm hoping to be able to run it for Nats. Um, yeah. I, uh, but yeah, the only reason I picked this up was for the Oshawa promo to go on my deck. Um, I was really, really excited about Nats with the new format. I was hoping, hoping we'd just see a bunch of variety of different things. Um, and, uh, yeah, there wouldn't be too many similar decks. But it seems like Magnabore is, like, the dominating deck right now, which I just, I, I have it built, but I really just don't like it. Um, yeah, it just reminds me too much of SP, just one deck always dominating. So I'm really trying to make another deck that just, it can, that can consistently, you know, at least 50-50 beat Magnabore, but also beat other things as well. So might have a chance at, you know, doing decent, at least having a winning record at Nationals. So there's the coin. Um, same silver coin that you get in all of the, um, all of these black and white blister packs with the three starters on it. There's the Oshawa promo, which is going into my deck. Um, big thing is I like the Sleep Pulse um, that doesn't require a particular type of energy to attack. And the four packs. So we got um, three black and white packs, which I'll be opening up, and a sampling pack, which I keep sealed um, to trade or sale. Uh, or, or sale. <laughs> to trade or sell. Um, I've seen it pretty much come with commons and uncommons. You can pull trainers and supporters from these things. Um, I still haven't heard of anyone pulling a rare yet from these, but um, I don't know how many are actually being opened or just like I'm doing, just traded away. 
So, let's go ahead and get to the packs. Um, I had amazing pulls from my blister pack yesterday. I, I've opened up a Tepig pack, or a Tepig blister, and uh, I was able to pull the um, the Embor with the ability, which is like a $15 card, so I definitely got my money back from that uh, blister opening just with that one card. So, hopefully I'll get something good in these two. Switch, Metal Energy, Sandile, uh, Patillo, Patrat, Vullaby, Simipore, and Pokeball. My reverse is a Deerling. And my rare, ooh, a Clang Clang Hollow. That's pretty nice. Um, I haven't really found a need for um, uh, Clang Clang yet, but that's still pretty cool. Two, three, four, five. Snivy, Potion, Darumaka, Pat Rat, Clink, Clang. <laughs> oh, this that Clink Clink Clang would have been appropriate in the last pack with the Clink Clang. Revive, and uh, the different Darumata. My reverse is a Pokeball, and my rare is an Unpheasant. So nothing really terribly useful so far, um, at least nothing in any of the decks that I run. So let's hopefully get something really good in this last one. I've got a Tepig, which is the good one, or the one I prefer. Venipede, Energy Search, Fire Energy, Lillipup, Plus Power, Plus Power is always nice. Pig Knight, um, also the Pig Knight that I like, and Buffalant, and my Reverse. Awesome! A Reshiram Reverse! Alright, there's my good pull. Um, yeah, I'm mainly collecting the full art Reshirams for decks. However, I will not complain about a Reverse Reshiram. That is just a really nice card. And my rare is a throw. So, meh. Uh, so really good pull of, uh, of this uh, blister. The Reshiram Reverse. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, coming up in the next vid, I've got some TCBMs to show, so uh, stay tuned for those, and thanks for watching.